that's not very comfortable for you, is it? Why don't you sit this way? Good morning, everyone. Apparently this is Rue's channel now, although I think it's been Rue's channel for quite some time. Rue turned two the other day, which just breaks my heart because um, no biting. No, no, we can't do biting anymore. We're not a puppy. I am so excited for today's video because I cannot believe that we are finally, eight months later, at the point where I can show you some of the finished house or pretty much finished. And the kitchen, which is what I'm going to show you today, is honestly pretty much there. There's like a few little decorating bits that I'll point out today that need to be done. We are beyond happy with how the kitchen turned out. And honestly, I'm relieved. We didn't have any interior design for the whole house done. Um, Kenny just basically left it up to me and I gave it my absolute best shot. I knew what I wanted to go for, but having a rough idea and like a Pinterest board is so different to actually putting it all together and just hoping that it all works out. But I'm super happy with it. The plan for today is I'm gonna take you through to the kitchen in a sec. I'm gonna show you around. I really hope you love it as much as we do. Kind of take you through where we got different bits from, just in case you're renovating your kitchen or you're thinking of having a change. Um, and then all of this behind me is a huge like home unboxing situation that we need to do once I've showed you around the kitchen because there's a few like finishing touches that need to go in and then this afternoon if we get time I actually want to pop to home sense again just to get a few finishing touches because I feel like you need everything in place and you need to start using the kitchen before you realize oh we don't have this we don't have this we need somewhere to store that and that kind of stuff so let me take you through to the kitchen okay welcome to the kitchen <laughs> film it and then I could walk you around. Might be a few bits when it comes to like the cooker that I just don't know the details on. But he's not here so we're going to make the best of the situation and I'm just going to set you up in different positions around the kitchen and talk you through what we've gone for. Before I get into all the tiny details and our furnishings, it is worth saying that the kitchen itself is a Howden's kitchen. If you've seen the whole renovation series, then I spoke about our decision to go with a Howden's kitchen as opposed to like a bespoke kitchen company. There were so many different reasons for it but I would say the main reason is that we don't really know how long we're going to stay here and obviously spending like upwards of 50,000 on a kitchen to me it should be a kitchen that you know you're going to have for like at least 10 years or something. So we went for Howden's kitchen but I have to say I am absolutely thrilled with it um, and what we did was we just customised a few pieces so there are parts of the kitchen that I'll walk you through that aren't from Howden's. We've like custom adapted bits and pieces from Howden's, that's the best way I can put it. Um, I can't remember what the range is called, but I do know it's their very top range. I want to say Chilcombe, but it's not Chilcombe. Chilcombe is one below this one. Um, but yeah, it's in dove grey and all our handles on our doors are also from Howden's. They're in like an antique brass kind of colour. So that's where the actual kitchen itself is from, including our countertops. These are quartz countertops, which again, I'm absolutely thrilled with. So let me walk you through some of the details. I will try and do this as quickly as I can. And I totally appreciate if you're not doing your kitchen, you probably don't want to know all of this. I'll give you a super quick overview. So this is like the main hub of the kitchen, obviously with our kitchen island here, our cooker over there. This is kind of where everything happens. We opted for like a Belfast style sink. This is a range master one, which we went for because we wanted a double sink. And this one was just like quite reasonably priced as far as these things go. And um, things like our kitchen tap, we got a lot of that stuff throughout the house, actually for the bathrooms as well, from online websites like Victorian Plumbing. I think there's one called Victoria Plum. Plum World was another one. And basically we just went on there and we always ticked traditional and filtered everything by that because obviously this is like an old Victorian house. Um, and we've really tried to blend like traditional and modern together and um, so wherever we can we've gone for more traditional options but then just kept all the colours and everything really bright and neutral to make it a bit more modern in that way. We went for a range master cooker, I do not know any of this, it says Kitchener on it, it's got six like little hobs, Kenny would know this so much better than me um, 
but it's a gas cooker and that's like everything that mattered to Kenny. And here I obviously work like a herringbone, which I'm super happy with. And they're like antique tiles, I'll show you. Also, if you see marks on our walls, the decorators are coming back to do touch ups, but I was just desperate to show you this. But yeah, these are basically made with like worn edges already and it kind of looks like, I don't know, they just don't look brand new, which we thought was quite in keeping and also definitely helpful. Um, in terms of when it gets stained and stuff from cooking, it won't be as obvious, was my thinking. Then we went for like a big American style fridge. I'll show you inside. We went for this because we just didn't have enough storage in the old house. I have not tidied in here, so I don't know what this looks like. Fridge is an area that I definitely want to organize, like the pantry. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty much what you'd expect to be in our fridge. Loads of kombucha, roost food, some deliciously Ella burgers, yogurt, all of that kind of stuff. So this behind me is our pantry cupboard, which will be one of my favorite bits of the kitchen once it's organized. So this is an example of something that Howden's don't actually make as stock standard. I'm going to use the word custom, but they definitely don't do custom stuff at Howden's. Essentially, I described what I wanted and then Howden's provided the parts from other cupboards that they do to make this possible. And then our builders kind of chopped things up and built it for us, if that makes sense. But I'm so, so happy with it. So let me show you inside. Please excuse the mess. So it opens out like this. And then we've got storage obviously down either side. And then this bit I absolutely love because we've got the worktop to match the work surfaces. And then we've got power to it so that eventually, we actually don't have a microwave at the moment, but when we have a microwave, that will go in here. The toaster's currently in here. And then these will be, which is what we're gonna do this afternoon, vice racks and organize all of that stuff with like cute little matching jars. And then let me bring you closer. So this kind of situation is what we're going for on all of the shelves in here. Um, I've bought a few more of these and we'll just have to slowly do it as we go and we find out what we need. And then in here, let me take you off and show you. And this top drawer is our built-in cutlery drawer, which we're super happy with. I think they're all soft clothes as well. Yeah. And then in these, we've just got pans and other kind of utensils. And then I've bought, like I said, little matching jars to fill these with and then bigger jars because it gets wider here. Um, and I think it's going to look just a Pinterest dream when I'm done. That's what I'm hoping. So yeah, I absolutely love this pantry unit. Okay, so this whole area of the kitchen is one of the areas that's not quite finished yet because this middle section um, with the shelving still needs to be decorated. The panelling at the back has actually not been decorated at all. It just really weirdly came like a very similar colour to the kitchen, but it definitely still needs to be decorated. And we're actually having the shelves painted the same colour as the kitchen too, which I slightly regret now that I know what would would look like, what wood would look like. I kind of wish we'd gone for like solid oak shelves there. So you'll have to ignore like the marks everywhere and stuff because that's not finished. Again, we've got the marble tops here because this is gonna be like our tea, coffee kind of making area, which is what we've done so far. In an ideal world, I'd love a whole new setup, new coffee machine, new kettle, new everything, but we definitely don't need that. And after renovating an entire house, that is not on the priority list right now. So all of this is storage because obviously there's not actually that much storage over in the main section of the kitchen. These cupboards are still a complete mess and some of them are empty, some of them have just got random stuff in. So there'll definitely be a video coming where we organise the kitchen together and make it all very aesthetic and pretty. So just to give you some like context on the room as a whole, this is kind of like the dining room area, that's how we see it and then that's obviously the main kitchen bit because that's where we do the cooking and the cleaning and the washing up and then this is obviously the pantry bit that I just showed you with all the storage and everything so it is all very much one room it used to be two rooms um, so that's something that we did we knocked this wall through here um, and also put a skylight in and then behind me we put an extra window in but um, that makes it quite obvious where we live so I can't show you out of that window. I'm just going to take you off here so I can take you around and show you some of the smaller details and tell you where bits and pieces are from and then we are done with the kitchen tour and we can go and do the unboxing. In terms of what we had built in, this is our washing machine which is built in. Although this was not the original plan, this was actually supposed to go in the pantry area on the other side of the kitchen over there. Um, but it just couldn't be done, something to do with the pipe work. So that's in the island, which is kind of not ideal because it really shapes the island. And then this is our built-in dishwasher 
here as well. Our bar stools, I am so happy with these, so, so happy. I got these from Amazon, so I will definitely link them for you, but they're solid hardwood, and I think they're about 80 pounds each, which compared to, hi, which compared to like Cox and Cox and sites like that, they're about 300 pounds each. So I'm really, really pleased with these. I absolutely love them and I'll definitely link them for you. Another detail that I absolutely love in the kitchen and I'm so glad that we invested in, in the end is this radiator. We've actually got these radiators for everywhere downstairs and I just think it makes such a huge difference um, they were definitely an investment but they're like a raw metal more industrial style radiator but everyone that's come into the house has complimented us on our radiators and i don't feel like that's something you can say often it's also worth mentioning that the doors throughout the entire house are the original doors from the house which i think is so cool and we just had them dipped which basically means stripped of anything that was on them and back to just the kind of bare wood they're not perfect but i kind of love that like they've got all the holes and different marks and stuff from how people have used the doors over the years but i think it gives some character and i i love them we get such beautiful light in here in the afternoon as you're getting a little show off now um so our dining table and chairs are the same ones from the apartment i am in love with this dining table and chairs oh kenny's laptop um, this is honestly one of the best things that we've ever bought. I just love it. I think we'll keep it forever. But we got all of this from a warehouse where they sell things that have been on display. So I don't actually know where this is from, um, which I know is not very helpful. And then this candle here is such a beautiful candle. My best friend's parents bought me this. It's Soho Home. Um, and then we've got Rue's bed, which is still filthy. I have actually put this through the wash twice, but I think it's just stained with mud. But someone asked me last time where this is from. It is just from, it's Wainwrights. It's just from Pets at Home. Also the flooring in here is engineered oak and we're super happy with how that looks. It was such a decision trying to decide how light to go, how dark to go, um, but I'm really, really happy with this. The pendants over our island, the actual gold drop down and the shades are two separate things. So the drop down pendants, my dad found on eBay. He's had them for his house before. Um, so if anybody is after them, I can ask him for a link. And then the lamp shades, these were kind of just like a um, make do for the time being situation. They're actually from Amazon. They're just glass lampshades with like standard bulbs in, but I think we'll get something a little bit nicer for in here in the long run. And then the final thing I wanted to show you is that we kind of restored the original coving in this part of the house. Um, and in most places downstairs, I think. This is an extension, not done by us, but done before us. So this didn't have the COVID. I think that should be all the details covered. But if I have missed anything, or if you've got any questions, please just ask because I know how much of an absolute minefield it is trying to find things and make decisions and pick colors and all of that stuff. On the note of colors, all of our walls throughout the entire house are fire and ball, Wimborne white, I want to say. Definitely Wimborne something. Um, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color because I was paranoid that I didn't want a cold white and I didn't want a yellow white. So this is like the perfect, slightly warm, but still totally neutral white. I could not be happier with the color um, that we've gone for. And we've literally done it in the entire house. So thank goodness I did like it. But yeah, I'm really, really proud of myself for how this kitchen's turned out. I'm not taking anything away from Kenny because he would admit himself that he handed over all of the responsibilities when it came to kind of like designing the entire house to me definitely saved arguments and disagreements so that was very kind of him but yeah i really hope you guys like the kitchen let's go do the unboxing okay i think pretty much all of this is from amazon but if anything isn't i will let you know and i will link it and i will link all the amazon stuff on my amazon storefront under like kitchen or home or bathroom or something it'll be easy to find i've been absolutely dying to open some of these packages but i've waited for you so this one i know is not for the kitchen but it arrived this morning so i thought i might as well show you this is i believe the bathroom bins which does not sound very exciting but i am a person who pays attention to detail so i yeah searched high and low for bathroom bins that weren't just hideous and i found these god wait is it are these even right they're right i thought they said the wrong one for a second but they haven't so i went for these silver hammered metal just like big bins and i got two of these one for the ensuite and one for the main bathroom because all of the detailing in our bathrooms is silver but yeah i just thought for a bathroom bin they were really nice so i've got two of them i'll open the other one later and we can open some other stuff 
Um, so this huge box, oh, you can't see it. They were the, there was two of them for the kitchen stool. So I've already opened them. Um, so we'll go for the next one. I think this one is the spice organizing stuff, but we'll find out. Yeah, so I ordered a bunch of, they're actually a little bit smaller than I thought. So I ordered a whole bunch of these little pots. What's that? Oh, it's a little pen that you can um, write on them and rub it off. But yeah, I got loads of these little pots, but they're a little bit smaller than I thought because these are meant to be like one size up from a spice jar just for stuff that you have like a little bit more of like chili flakes and stuff. But actually, these are pretty small. So I'll have to find out if we've got a use for them. Okay, I'm going to open this huge one, which I think is the doormat. Okay, that was a struggle, but we've got there. So I just ordered this really big double doormat for by the back door. This looks huge actually, so let's go check if this works in a second. On to another one. This is like a little um, compost thing. Yeah, Penny's made a compost thing at the end of the garden. Um, so we just needed something to put the compost in. And I just thought this is, I actually love this. Again, normally compost bins that you put on like your island and stuff are not the prettiest things but i just thought this one was really nice i'm honestly so happy with that the brand is kilner um i got it from amazon it's obviously got like the little holes in the top that you need but it kind of looks like it's giving me like antique champagne bucket kind of vibes these amazon parcels are like past the parcel like it's boxes inside of boxes inside of boxes yeah this is the last one because the other box i've already opened it was the butchers that you saw in the fridge so i ordered a whole massive box of these i don't even know how many's in there but loads and they all just look like this they're like glass jars with little metal lids and then somewhere right in the bottom of this box i'm guessing are a load of labels and i think there's like 150 labels or something so pretty much every single herb or spice you can think of you'll have the appropriate label for it so that is going to be so satisfying so let's go and put everything into their new little homes okay slight change of plan i've just put up at home sense because i realized there's quite a few bits that we still need like we don't even have a kitchen bin at the moment we're like carrying all our stuff outside to the bins i don't think we'll be able to get that at home sense although never say never um because we want like a three compartment one because our recycling is like two different things anyway boring um but there's also like a few other bits that are just like finishing touches that we definitely need so i figured it makes more sense to do it this way we go to home sense now see what they've got and then we can get home and just like put everything into their places all in one go so let's head into home sense <music> buy a single thing on my list but somehow I still came away with an entire trolley full of stuff. I feel like I really underestimated the jump between living in a two-bed apartment and moving into a four-story house. Like, there's just so much stuff that we just don't have um, so every time I go to Home Sense, there's about a thousand things I could buy but we're trying to be sensible and not try and buy it all at once which is really hard. I'm like a buy it all at once I want the whole house finished tomorrow kind of girl but it's definitely going to be a process regardless of what I try and do because bigger things like for example we need two new sofas for the living room and I really want to take our time with those purchases rather than buying something that we can get quickly or something that's like less expensive but that we're not going to love and not going to keep so it's definitely going to be a process but I did get a few bits today and also I kind of feel like Home Sense is one of those places that you have to take the opportunity when it's there that's what I'm telling myself anyway so let's go inside and I'll show you what I got let's go First things first, I got all of these matching bowls, pasta plates and mugs because we did actually have quite a few casualties in the move um, and we could really do with just some like plain white ones and I thought these ones would look quite nice up on the shelves as well when they're done up there. Then I got a set of towels which honestly is very white company-esque, they do these like big ribbed towels but this was 19 99 and I got two bath towels, two hand towels and two flannels. My family is coming to stay next week, so we definitely need some extras. Then I got this huge lampshade, which is for our bedroom, because in the end, we didn't put spotlights everywhere. We did consider it, but basically, 
Something to do with the ceilings being really old. If we started drilling into them, it would have meant we had to replace all of the ceilings. And as it was, we had to replace a few ceilings. So we left the lights as they were. And then I got this little wooden stool. I have got our bedroom in mind for this because the little like reading corner I was talking about earlier needs somewhere to put a cup of tea down because obviously that's a non-negotiable. And I just thought this might work. It might not, but I'll try it in there later and see how we go. And then I just got a doormat that matches the one for the back door for the front door as well. I also got an Amazon delivery what is new but i think i know what this is and it's definitely not exciting so they're just washing up gloves but number one they're white which is just you know aesthetic but also apparently they're moisturizing and they're a load of things free latex free i don't know what the other words mean so yeah that is officially everything let's go and find new homes for all these bits a couple of slight issues the doormat i will show you doesn't quite fit into the door frame let me show you what i mean this is definitely too big because i wanted it to fit just perfectly in there so i'm going to return it and maybe actually measure this and then the other issue is those spice jars the small ones with the metal lids perfect but the slightly bigger ones are not slightly bigger enough you know so they're not really going to do the job i also completely forgot to go to b&m and buy more of the glass jars to put like bigger stuff in so what i'm thinking is we will leave like organizing the pantry for another day and maybe we'll do it all as part of like organizing the pantry organizing the fridge the cupboards and kind of get the kitchen all sorted all in one go or maybe even just do it as part of like a home vlog or something so i think i'm going to leave today's video here because i think we've probably spent enough time in the kitchen together today you're probably totally sick of seeing my kitchen although i hope not oh the evening light in here is just so lovely um but yeah i really hope not because you're going to be seeing a lot more of it because i'm so excited now to get back into my what I eat in a days what i eat in a week's recipes um i'm going to do a load of that stuff on like reels tiktok and all of that as well and i'm really going to try because i've been so off my game with just everything these last few months um, I'm really going to try and get back on it with my home account too, just so that I can have somewhere to post all these little bits and pieces that I'm buying for the house and all of that stuff. Yeah, I'm going to sign off now. It's actually Saturday afternoon, so I'm going to see if I can edit this really quickly tonight and get it out for you tomorrow so that we're very much in real time together. Yeah, I hope you enjoy spending a morning at home with me and just seeing our new kitchen. Any questions at all, pop them in the comments and I will definitely reply. But as always, thank you so, so much for being here and I will see you next Sunday. Bye guys.